welcome to my new art channel where I draw, sketch, and do arts and crafts. I am not a professional artist or sketcher, but I like to draw. And I hope you like the videos I post in the future. And without further ado, let's get this video started. As you guys can see, there's a sketchbook in front of me. So today, we're going to be sketching. Okay, so I opened my sketchbook to a blank page, and we're going to be drawing a scenery. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to draw is a line over here. And for this, I'm using a 4H pencil. So, yeah. So we have to draw a light line up there. Now that we finished that line, we're going to draw a line towards the bottom of the page. And we're going to draw a tiny relic over there. So let's do it. As you guys saw, the lines aren't perfect, and so isn't the river. As you can see, the river just looks like a bit of a big blob, but when we're actually outlining the drawing and everything, it's gonna look big, and when we're outlining the drawing and everything, these lines probably won't be there. Okay, so the next step is to draw mountains like that. We have to do lines in different directions like this, and it has to be 3D. Now, let's fill this whole little area of mountains in different sizes, big and small. Okay, now that that's finished, we're going to draw two houses over here and here, and a river in the middle. So, we have to do a house a bit more 3D, and the face of the house should be facing, like, the river. So, I'll show you how. First, we have to draw two lines, like this. I'm just doing a little, tiny scribble right now. I'm going to do it a bit neater. We're just doing all these little outlines first. We're going to do it a bit better after. This line should be shorter than that line. Then we're going to draw another line like that. And do that. As you can see, the door is going to be here, so it's like facing the river. The river is actually going to be moved a bit to the middle. And then we're going to do the roof like that. Put that like that and do that. And then when we do that, you can see do that. And now it's like a 3D house. And we're gonna be shading that part a bit and we're just gonna add like a door and then a window. This is just like the little outline of the house. We're gonna make it a bit we're gonna make it a bit better. And it's gonna look better because you're gonna do like flower pots and it's gonna be a bit darker and neater. And the same um, thing is going to be on this side, but it's going to be facing the different way, like this. This one has to be shorter, that one has to be longer. I'm going to do a house like that, put that there, and then you can't forget the roof. Okay, and that's it, and then we do a door, and then we're so practically that's going to be it, but they both are going to be the same size. I just outlined it really quickly. We're going to do it neater. So yeah, and then there are going to be two houses, flower pots, and a river. And we're going to be shading the mountains after. So right now I'm just going to modify the houses a bit. And you guys can draw them and modify them with me. Okay, so as you guys saw, we finished those two houses. Now we have to draw a little line over there for like a hill. And then the river is going to be in the middle, as I said. So let's do that little line over there. We're going to start from this part of the paper. It has to go kind of to the middle of the house, or houses. And it's going to come off that side. It's not perfect because we're not we're just doing it very lightly in the end all of this is going to be dark and shaded but it's going to be like outlined a bit darker like these houses so that's like the little hill over here and then there's going to be a river in the middle so we can actually erase the line over here so let's do that okay so as you saw we erase line in the middle because it's okay. We don't need a line. And as you can see, it looks really good. And we're just going to do the river over there in the middle. 
So I'm gonna show you guys how to do the rib room and uh, watch closely. So first we just have to put it like that, like a little humpish. And just like that, little, little lines over there. And then like that. So I don't think you can see that, but yeah. I'm gonna outline it a bit darker. So you, could, you guys could just modify your rivers with me. Okay, so as you can see, my outline was like that, but I actually did two lines that way because you can also do the river like this. So now we're gonna outline all the stuff, like the mountains, the two houses, a bit more darker, and the river, and the little hill. And we are going to use a different pencil for that. We are gonna use a 4B pencil for that because it's a darker shade. And we're gonna outline everything. After that, we're going to add a bit more stuff in, in shade. But for now, we're just gonna outline everything. And if you guys um, are still doing the river, um, you have to, for this kind of river, you could do the circle river or this line river I made. You have to do it inwards to outwards, like that to that. Because if you do a straight line, it won't exactly make sense like it's a river. So you have to do it inwards to outwards, inwards to outwards. So right now, I'm just going to be outlining all the things we have on here so far. Okay, so now we're going to do the details on the mountains. So remember I said we had to do them like these lines because we are going to do a pattern. As you can see, I'm going to give an example on this one because this has the best shade of lines. So we're going to do like a dotted pattern. Like we have to do the dots this way because the lines are going this way. So but a bit more darker, like that. And then we have to do a dotted pattern that way. So that, like that. And um, you can also do lines, like I'm doing dotted, and you can also do line patterns like this. You could do either dots or lines. I'm doing a mix of both. I'm going to do lines, dotted lines, dotted lines, and dotted. So, just finish up the lines and dots for all the mountains. Now the next step is to do a light blending shading for the mountains because you can't just leave it like that. So if you guys have blending stuff that would be a bit easier but if you don't that's perfectly fine too. I'm just going to do light little lines with the 4B pencil and just do light little lines. Okay, so now after we do the little lines, I'm using a blending stump. And I actually like mine to be dark, so whenever I'm blending, there will be already some on here. So I'm just going to blend some from dark to light. If you don't want it that dark, you can reduce how many lines you want and reduce how dark you're going to put the lines. I didn't, I didn't put mine too dark, but I just put a little. And right now I'm just coloring in, or well, blending in, the lines. And I recommend just doing the darkness on the corners of it and just filling it in with lightness. Don't go too hard with your blending stump. I like to go very, very light and it works really good that way. Just do little, little lines like that and color in. 
Okay, so after that, we're going to just do a tiny bit of blending on the bottom of the mountains, just like this. Just like it's like fading. So you don't really just want it to be um, mountains in the middle of nowhere, just like randomly up there. Just going to do a bit of shading. Okay, so after you're done with that little bit of shading, see now, see there's shading like that. After you're done with that, we're gonna do the details for the house, like the door, the windows, and stuff like that. So I'm doing a curvy door instead of a square shaped door. So I'm just gonna do. One like that, and one like that. And for the windows, um, because as you guys can see, the light is slanting, so we have to do it, the window slanting a bit upwards. And the top window can be a straight way. And just do a line there. And there. If you want, like that. And now we're going to repeat the same process on the other side, and we can also you do it like this, like the other brick kind of style, like those little humps. So let's do that. As you can see, I put these on very lightly, those little humps, and if you don't want them, you can just take them off, just like that. So now we're going to move on to the shading of the houses. And before that, I'm just going to make this a bit better because it's a bit darker because this is too bright. And I'm only actually using only one of my houses like that. My other house is just going to be plain. So after you guys do this, or if you don't want the bricks on the houses, we're going to move on to shading the house. So, as you guys can see, there is a door here. And there are these lines. So, first, we're going to do a line over here. Because, as you guys can see, this came out more outside of this door. And this did too. So, we have to do a line there. And we're going to take our blending stump and blend it in. I am going to use a smaller blending stump this time because it's a smaller space. So I'm just darkening about that little bit because it has to come opening like inwards. So, after we do that, you guys can also always make it a bit smaller if you want to. I'm just making mine a bit like small and showing outwards that way. And same on this side, but not as much as we did for the opening. Just a bit. Now, the easier part. We're going to have to do this. We have to, like, shade, make this part a bit darker, the borders of everything. Like the border of this and the top of that. And the border of this roof and the side of that. And we're going to shade in of that. I am going to use a bigger blending stamp this time again. First, we're just going to blend those in. And then we're going to shade in it after. So we're just making that part darker. And that. And now we're just going to go lightly and make sure not to do the little door yet in the window yet because it's gonna be later we're gonna do it later so we're just gonna color it in now and I am actually gonna take out some of my face lines if you guys want to do that you just do it too because as you can see there are lines here and if you don't want it to be that dark you can take it out so I'm just Blending that in, making that look a bit dark, so it's kind of like a shadow. 
turn that a little bit darker and blend that in. And this also has to be a dark because this is another side of the house. So we have to blend this one too. A bit darker. As you can see, there's like a bit of texture for this one more than just the normal scribble kind of blending because this is a bit more darker. So we gotta press a bit hard for this one. So we're gonna press and then for the bottom, because we're doing the thing over there, we're just gonna go lightly like that. So, like that. Okay, now that we finished that for the door. For the door, we're going to have to blend it a bit more darker this way. And that's it. And now we have to blend this part only. And shade that in normally. So, like that. If you guys don't want it that dark, you can just dab your eraser like that. And yeah, and you can just color it in a bit like that. And for the window, we're not gonna color in anything in the window. So we're just gonna outline this a bit more. And yeah gonna outline the door and you could do a little handle if you want so that's the door and we're gonna do the same exact thing on the other house so yeah and because we if you guys have this watch carefully when I do this part we're gonna actually have to darken this a bit and every scale has to go a bit darker so I'm just going to give you guys an example really quick. We have to blend in these parts of the scale and then go lightly. So you'll see how I do that. Okay, if you guys noticed, I took out the little circle from the river and it's because we're going to start doing the river now. So for the river, I'm going to be using the HB pencil. Not the 2B or 3B, the HB. So, yeah. And for the river, we're just going to do slight shading in and little, little like waves-ish kind of thing. Little things. So, yeah. First, I'm actually actually going to be using the 5B for the shading parts of the outside. Like the same thing as we did for the houses. We're going to shade the little edges really quick, not much. Just the tiny parts like over here, to over here, and over here, and over here, to over there. And I am going to use my blending stump again. And I'm just going to shade that. And that. And same thing on the other side. I'm going to shade this part. And also this part because I was making that a bit darker. So after we did that, I am going to do little, little thingies with the 5B pencil. Like, like little small tiny waves, like small tiny ripple effect kind of things. And over that, I'm just going to do a bit more with the HP pencil, not the 5B. Just like that. And we're going to need the HP, I mean, yeah, HP pencil after we blend again. So, um, as you can see, we made these sides darker. And we're going to just like blend in, kind of like it's a crayon. And we're going to blend in from dark to light. So we're just going to shade. Because it's going to be from dark to light. So I'm using my 5B pencil again to make this side a bit darker. And this side's going to get a bit lighter. So we have to make it from dark to light. So we're going to shade. And after we do that, because as you can see we're doing that right now, 
we are going to shade in these. So I'll show you in just a sec. So I didn't fully finish doing my shading effect on the river yet, but I'm just going to show you really quick. With the HB pencil, we're going to do a bit darker, and we're going to shade that in above. So I would recommend actually using the smaller blending stump than the bigger one, because that would make it a bit more easier to do. So, just like that. And over that again, we're going to shade with the bigger stump, because that is easier than the smaller stump. So I'm just doing a line formation this way, instead of like this way. I was doing it this way, but it would be a bit easier both ways, I guess. So yeah. As you can see, this sides are still dark, but just in the middle we're doing it dark to light. But this side is still dark. And if you guys are using a circle river, like as I said, some people are going to be using a circle river. You just have to darken the sides of the circle. Like if there was a circle, we have to darken the sides of the circle and just shade in this way from dark to light. And if you want to do these little ripple effects, you could do the same thing. You could just do ripple effects from there and there. So I'm just finishing my thing. River. And the little ripple effects with the HB pencil. Just doing that over there and that over there. And blending that in with the small one. After blending that in with the small one, we get to the little scribbles, I guess. And we're going to do it again with the blending stump. If you don't really want the ripple effects that big, you don't have to do it that big. Like, for example, you could just use your eraser again and dab it like that. And as you can see, it's coming white, so you just have to blend it in. So you can just do that. And you can shade over that. And after you shade over that, like I'm doing now, after you shade over these little things you just erased, the little ripple effects you just erased, you could do it with the HB pencil or even a lighter shade. And you could do it very lightly, the ripple effects. So, like this. So, it's like this. And you want it to be a bit brighter. So, I guess you could just use the brightest shade, the 5H. And just go like that. So right now I'm just going to be modifying my little ripple effects a bit more and you guys can do it with me if you want. Okay, we finished our river and I apologize if you can't see my paper clearly because there is a shadow. So I apologize for that. But... Apart from that, our next step is going to draw flower pots. We're going to just erase a little line, that little hump over there, and a hump over here because we're going to draw two flower pots. So for this one, we're going to be using the B pencil. And you guys can do a flower pot of either any shape, but I am just going to be doing a different shaped flower pot. And I'm just going to do little lines like that. And it's going to be better when we shade it in because it's like on the grass. And then I'm just going to do that. And now we can do like any flower you want. I'm just going to do random flowers like a flower here and a flower there. Just fill your whole pots with flowers. And I am going to do a design on the flower pot. And I'm going to do the same for the other side. So... Do two flower pots in with flowers, and you guys can pick any flower you want, and you guys can design your pots if you want to. So let's do that. Okay, so as you guys saw, I finished doing the flower pots, and I just did little lines like that for the grass. 
and you might be wondering when we did this. So that's what we're gonna learn right now. We're gonna like take out the line for the hill that we've done, and on that we are going to do little lines for the grass. You can either do, you can either do little triangles like this, or you could do little lines that are really close to each other, like that. So I chose the little lines that are really close to each other, and I also added some triangles like over there, and over there, and over there. So I just kind of did a mixture of both. You guys can do a mixture of both or one. So yeah, because then and remember not to do on the river area. Only do some on the river area because it's a river going down the other side of the hill and this side of the hill, and we don't exactly want there to be grass on the river. So that's how this is gonna be. So just do that part. And we'll move on to the next So step. I finished the grass part and I did these little humps for the grass because we are going to be shading, as you can see I did some, we're going to be shading the grass. So for that we are going to be doing little humps for the grass like this. Just tiny humps because this is grass after all. Like tiny humps like that and as you can see just like little tiny scribbles. And then after that, we're going to be using the same shading technique. I'm using the bigger stump because that is going to be easier. We are going to make that this side darker, these parts darker, and that part. And then the net rest of the thing is just going to be slightly shading or well, well, coloring because that's what I'm kind of doing. I'm just coloring this part just normally. And filling in all things. I'm not coloring the pot. I'm just coloring this normally. And I sometimes just add some pencil marks kind of onto my blending stuff to be a bit darker. And I do that. So I'm just going to finish coloring this part in. And we are going to do the same with the other side. We are going to be coloring it in. So, yeah. After we finish this, we're going to do the same with the other side. We're going to be coloring it in. We are almost done with the drawing, but we still have a couple more steps. So, the next step is to do little birdies. We're going to use a darker shade, the 4B shade, to do the birdies. We're just going to do the outline first. We're just doing some birds. They're not actually like birds. But yeah. So we have a couple of birds over there. And after that, because as you can see, a couple of birds over there, we are going to take our blending stump and just do little dark lines, kind of not exactly dark. Just little lines over there. And with that, we are going to blend. So I'm, go I'm going to blend. So as you can see, I'm just doing this for now. And I have this side, and this is still a bit dark. So if you want it to be a bit lighter, like if you did it a bit dark, and you want it to be a bit lighter, just erase those little blobs and just do it again like light like as you can see um even if mine has like a bit dark on it you could still do it very light so we're just going to do little triangle thingies upwards and then we're going to shade it on the top so you'll see how i do it we're going to do that and that and we're just going to like normally just attach it or shade it kind of to the top so let's do that and i'll show you guys the next step That's it for this week's video. Thanks everyone for watching. Please share this video with someone else so they can learn how to draw this scenery too. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get every video I post. And thanks for watching how to draw scenery for beginners. Thank you. Bye.